So this is a card trick with a surprise. Yes, that's right, a surprise. Oh, lucky you. Um, just gonna give him a quick shuffle, a run cut, a shuffle, and a cut. And now we're ready to go. Uh, so what I'm gonna have you do is actually pick a card, any card. Oh, this one. Now I'm gonna give you one option. You can change your mind right now if you'd like. No? Happy with this? All right. Don't say I didn't warn you. Memorize your card. Okay. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and place that back in the pack. Um, like I said, this is a card trick with a surprise. Um, I missed. That's awkward. I'm gonna give it a quick shuffle. And uh, just verifying your card isn't on the top, no. And uh, your card's not on the bottom, no. All right. With my prowess, what I'm going to do is actually try to get your card to the top. Okay. And if this is your card. You need to go crazy with applause. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna say this is your card, the two of hearts. What do you mean? All right, that's awkward. Um, that's okay, that's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Um, 51 more to go. If, uh, you will please go ahead, just say stop as I run my thumb down, stop. Right, right there. Chance number two, your card. The two of hearts. Well, I did tell you this is a card trick with a surprise. And let me ask you. You surprised? What's up makers? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nate Avier and I'm so glad you're here. You know, sharing and merriment with me. Welcome to yet another day of our gift miss series. This is where we're going to uh, share a bunch of great magic with you. And as you saw from the intro, it was a little bit of a surprise with this one. Um, this is kind of a newer one I added to my personal repertoire. Uh, same kind of situation with a walk around event I did recently. People loved it. They went nuts. It was a great kind of like closer for table to table. Uh, let me show you how I did it. All right, so the card trick with a surprise. I hate the word trick, but you know, people are most anonymous with it. So we'll just roll with it for now. Uh, this one's super simple, very easy to do. Um, requires two things. It requires uh, a double lift, which we actually taught last year in Gift Miss. Uh, in our multi-lift video, I'll just link it right up there. And a riffle force. The riffle force is super simple as well. I'm pretty sure we've taught it before. Um, but I will go over it again just for you when we get to that point. All right, so this is super simple. What we're gonna do is give the cards a shuffle. You can openly do this. It really doesn't matter. Um, as you shuffle it, mix it, cut it, do whatever you want. Okay, we did the, we did the normal card trick type thing. They choose a card, it doesn't matter what card it is. Okay, we'll go with Seven of Diamonds. You have them memorize it. You, of course, as the magician, don't know it. And you're gonna place it back in the pack and you're going to lose it. Um, your goal is to actually get that card back on top. So you can do multiple cuts. You can, um, if you know how to do it, you can also do the pass. Um, which we might actually go over in the future. Um, the goal is just control their card to the top. Once you get their card to the top of the deck, 
and it's all easy sailing from here. Uh, you tell them, oh yeah, what I'm gonna do is actually um, get your car to the top, you can be all fancy with it, do whatever um, type of card flourish you want as long as the top stock stays there and you can keep their card on top. Um, and then you're gonna execute a double lift, um, whichever one you want. You can do a strike double, you can do a, uh, what I did in the thing, it's called a Stuart Gordon double. Um, basically, yeah, you're just gonna do a double lift however you wanna do it, double lift, be all confident, be like, right there, your card, three of spades. And before they say, I think this is actually a really important part, you hold it there, three of spades. And you're acting like, yeah, I got it. Look at me, I got it, smug. And they just stare at you like you're an idiot. Or they're like, ooh, I feel so bad for you. No, it wasn't that. And you just kind of let your shoulders drop. That's when you do the move and turn it back over. And this is important. You want to get as much distance between the, the top card, because you remember you did a double. You want to get as much distance between this card and them. So I kind of just toss it back as close as I can to me or away from them. I'm like, oh, crap, that sucks. Um, you know what, that's okay, we can recover. 51 more to go, always gets a laugh. Um, at this point, I like to cut over and do a series of running cuts to make it look like I'm mixing some more. And although from the front, it looks relatively normal, from the back, I have a pinky break right above their card. Um, and this is where the riffle force comes in. As you riffle your thumb down, no matter where they say stop, you're going to lift up on that break and drop this card. Um, this is just a brief overview. I'm pretty sure we've taught the riffle force before on the channel, um, but again, uh, you did a double lift, um, cut over, whatever it takes. Just get whatever card was on the uh, double into that gap. Riffle down, they say stop, ooh, stop, about halfway, great. And you just lift right up at that break, drop the card down, close it up, toss it to the side, that doesn't matter. Now you'll notice in the performance, I kept my hands here. I kept this card, which is their card, remember, from the uh, failure that happened. I keep it closed off so they forget about it. And I say, okay, here we go. This is the one, this redemption right here. Your card, the three of spades. And they're like, no, 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 that wasn't wait. And they, that's when they start thinking I've already seen that card. I know that's already been shown. How is that? And I said, oh, you know what? I told you, this is a trick with a surprise. And let me ask you, are you surprised? And that's it. That was a card trick with a surprise. Again, I don't like the term trick because that's a nasty form of deception, but it gets across to normal people. Practice this one a bit. It takes a little more effort than some of the other ones, which are instant, but you're going to enjoy it. Um, it's one where you can adjust the presentation as much as you want and have as much fun with it. You can tell the, the moves aren't that labor intensive, so it'll be fine. If you want to check out more of what we do, uh, why don't you hit that playlist that's up here. It's going to show you all sorts of things, uh, and we put it together just for you. That's right. Just for you. Or if you want to smack that bottom link and uh, check out a video that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, keep making that magic.